Hello there, my name is Musoma from the Saidia Systems. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how a staff member is added in the Doshire program. So, for you to be able to conduct this activity, you must have administrative rights on the system in your accounts in order to access this feature. So, you can move your cursor on your computer or you can just tap on that menu using your phone and you click update information. The option is right here for a teacher, for a staff, a support staff, it is right there, but they are almost the same. So you click add new teaching staff, you choose the user state. Now for a staff that has never, that is very new, you choose that option of never to do today and you click OK. The form which requires the staff information to be added will be generated for you to fill the details and you add the staff. Now, our staff is called Mutebi Joshua and is on school payroll, is full time. So, these details you have to fit them according to what the staff has provided on the forms that you gave them to fill. So, his level of education we consider the highest. You're going to go with the, he has a normal diploma which is the same as ordinary. For postgraduate, it is a higher diploma. So, for him, he has an ordinary diploma in education. Then you can choose the subjects. This staff is capable of teaching. Uh, this one teaches the physical education and physical education and the geography. Then you just update those other details, the telephone number of the staff. Then you input the email of the staff member you go ahead and update the tribe of the staff and the religion there are cases where the staff has not declared his religion you can use that option of other regions just like this other information tribe someone's not willing to give that information you can use the option of others to proceed uh, this staff might have forgotten his name number so you can use uh, those X combinations in order to provide anything that is unknown. The date of birth, you may find that this staff does not know his date of birth. You can use the current date and then you choose the district where the staff stays, district where the place of birth. So he was born in Kampala, in Nakawa, the parish is Naguru, the village is maybe village 32 and the current home where he stays he could be in uh, which district uh, that is maybe Masaka so the districts are all here you can choose Masaka sub county is this is the you put the sub county as it applies this is Chabakuza but now that it is a city, it can be Masaka City. Masaka City. Then the parish, the parish may be Chabakuza. And the village which the staff gave uh, on the form. Now the next of kin also, this information is very important. So all what you do is to provide the details of the other next of kin. Nami Limu. Farida. Uh, relationship it can be a sister it can be a wife address maybe she stays in the ginger telephone number of the telephone number of the next of kin and the email in case she doesn't have an email you can put those details so you go to sp staff spouse since this one is already the, the next of kin, you can, depending on what the staff has declared, this is Nami Limu, Farida, uh, address is Ginger, telephone number. So this information is very important, especially when uh, you are, there is some issue, there could be an issue and you want to communicate to the immediate people of the staff member. When you have this information on file, it is simple for you to 
to easily communicate. Now that we are done with feeding the information, you just click add teacher and the system will now add, will create the account for Mutebi Joshua. This ID you see alongside his name is what he will use to access his school account. Thank you for watching. Have a good stay.